Hey everyone, it's Phil Spencer. Thanks to all our fans and players around the world for joining us today. You're the heart of our vision for the future of gaming, and this launch celebration is all about you. We're thrilled to see so many of you around the world playing games that you love, the way you want to play them, with the people you want to play with, on the devices you want to play on. So to everyone who has an Xbox in their home, and all of those who have their hearts set on getting one down the road, and everyone that loves video games and what they bring to you, thank you. So, let's do what we came here to do and play some games. First, here's a look at a game I play a ton of, a trailer for Destiny 2 Beyond Light. The light and dark ready themselves for a new phase. So must we. The day we've been dreading has finally arrived. The darkness is here. We are deploying guardians to all corners of the system to find answers. I'm picking up a distress signal. Someone's in trouble. My friends, we are all in great danger. The Vanguard only recognizes the light. Someone has to do the same for the dark. Stasis is just a tool. We must use it for good. This power is a gift. One I will share with all of you. One by one, we will rise again. Beyond the Light on the all-new Xbox. Hey, as I said, big fan of uh, Destiny 2, and the trailer looks awesome. Beyond Light, it's an important moment for Destiny. New raids, stasis powers, and a lot more. I can't wait to play with everyone on Game Pass. I'll probably be on tonight. Uh, game looks and plays great on Series X and Series S, and it'll look even better when the next-gen update launches in December. My good friend, Pete Parsons, CEO of Bungie, is here to play the game with me on Xbox Series X, both of which launch today. Woo. Hey, Pete. Good to see you, Phil. Good to see you. It's, uh, we get to play. They put controllers in our hands, and they completely lose us. I'm already saying getting ready to play. But, they almost uh, think that we're good at this. <laughs> Well, you better Sherpa me through this because I've never played Beyond Light. This will be my first time. I'm excited. Uh, but I know you play a ton and you play a lot with the community. Like when you think about all that Bungie's done to get to this point um, and launch Beyond Light, like what's really hitting you right now? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what's so exciting for us, which is, you know, uh, we're, we're players of Destiny, as are you. Yeah. And uh, the community has become a really important part of everything who we are. Uh, it, it, it gives us feedback, it, it, uh, it feeds us, you know, where we uh, continue to be a part of that community. And we also have this ongoing dialogue with the community. And so we're super excited about where you're headed 
with this new launch because not only is the hardware fantastic, but the continued focus on uh, building, growing community, the social aspects of it for us are fantastic. It's great. Thanks. You know, and, and I think the partnership that we have around Game Pass right now in the game has been fantastic to see. And really, when I think about Bungie and Xbox and our history through Xbox Live and so many of the things that we've done together, it just seems natural that we're working together to bring Beyond Light and uh, the new generation of, of, of consoles with great updates. You know, 2020 has been a challenging year. When you think about all that you've had to do in, at the studio to get Beyond Light done, any unique challenges? Yeah, I mean, well, one is we have a long history together, <laughs> and that's pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty awesome. Yeah, and Game Pass is. has been really great for us to engage in. And, you know, we moved the entire studio out in March. Wow. Uh, which is a long time. And so... Uh, Beyond Light, we're, we're really proud of the work. I'm, I'm incredibly proud of the work the team has done for Beyond Light. Uh, but it is largely a product of everyone being at home. And so when I, I look at not only I'm, I'm completely inspired by the work of the team to make it, but also of our operations, IT, security team, allowing us or giving us the ability to be able to move out and be productive. That said, you know, working from home, poses its own challenges. So, so this has been, uh, it's a, been a long road. Um, and yet, I think the work uh, speaks for itself. That's awesome. And to be launching a console today and having Beyond Light come out at the same time seems like you know, a special it's, moment for it's Bungie. It's very Xbox exciting too. for us. And as you know, it's a long history. We have a long history <laughs> of, of being partnering with Xbox with launches. And yeah. uh, it's kind of fun to see that come uh, you know, back around. It's been many, many years since many we years. started on this journey together. And, okay. Uh, well, uh, we're going to start playing. I think we're on an Xbox Series X here. Uh, again, I have no idea. Oh, there you are. I have no idea uh, what to, what are we looking at here? Why don't well, you explain so, yeah, a little bit so where the, we are? The, the, at, at, its, at its heart, the pyramid ships have come back in the system with the seasons of arrival. Yeah. And uh, now we're going to have to uh, deal with, with that uh, in both the uh, new uh, locations that we have, so Ju cool. Jupiter and Europa, nice. uh, as well as new powers where we ultimately decide to uh, wield the darkness with, with stasis. And so that's what we're going to, to do. And just so I'm clear, you did take my light level, right? Let me see it. Oh. Don't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> More grinding to do. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Your you old pal it. Drifter was Do you know where we go? It's time to ditch the light, good, dark, bad dogma. Oh, you're talking to that Folks guy. are finally starting All right. to see it. Yeah, so we're going to uh, talk with the Drifter. Okay. And ready. then we'll uh, head on. Just let me have this one, three eyes. You ready? All right. I think Just so. once. I'm ready. Oh, do I need to talk to yeah. him too? Okay, sorry. So if you remember, we have yeah. characters coming back from Destiny yeah, yeah, yeah. 1, The Stranger. There we go, sorry. I know. I owe you an We will get through this. this. We will. I hope. I, I am the biggest the consumer the of Destiny lore. Darkness's arrival. Not true. Not the Grimoire. Actually, one of the things that I love cheat. is that the team but has done such a good job of building lore over the years that the you know, floodgates not are only open. do we have the darkness you know, is here. members of our community who are focused on just lore, stop our um, but we even have cannot. achievements that are lore-based. So. You do. I'm just kind of a put the too. crosshair on the enemy and pull the trigger. That's, that's my destiny ziggurat. play, and I love it. It's and the grind. Is temptation. To begin your training, you must give in. Okay. Here. Ah. Uh, that looks familiar. All right. Okay, I'm following. Oh, you're already going. All right, so we're on the surface of Europa. Okay. No enemies yet. Nope. Can I hit you with a grenade? You can. Okay. Absolutely. And so we're going to try to uncover the secrets here.
so I heard you um you uh do I understand why you're going along with the stranger some of your team meetings on uh well, inside of Destiny, is that true? Us everything. I will any excuse do I want this? Yeah. Okay. Any excuse I have to play video games? I'll do it. I've done in Destiny, Minecraft Dungeons. So you kinda of have to temper the one on one based on the kind of player skill of who you're you're meeting with. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. This one's locked. The we're here, the more nervous I get. That one's locked. Not that I think uh -oh. you can't handle That one's locked. I know you can. They're locked for you. Oh, okay. well, we have a waypoint. Here we go. It's over there. Idea of what that might be. All right. We're definitely oh, look, it's Destiny. So we're going to go up to one area. We're going to go back. Oh, go stop. Back. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Anybody who's looked at my hours played on this can... Oh. No. Oh. Okay. All right. So we're on Europa right now. We are. So there's there's Jupiter in the distance. Looks good. So this right now is running 60 frames per second. Yeah, 60 frames a second, but uh, what do you want to say? What's Crucible the, the, say running the, at? Do you want to say the fun thing about Well, Crucible? you guys did the work. You should say it. Well, no, I'm, I'm, you get the... Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I, I, I'm not a huge Crucible player. I'm very good at getting shot in Crucible, but I do know playing Crucible at 120 would be amazing. And so. we are announcing today, right now, Crucible at 120 nice. frames a second. Thank you for that. So good. Yeah. So good. Super exciting. I can't wait to play. I was actually talking with a friend of mine. Actually, she was on earlier, Katerina. I'm yeah. looking forward. We were, we're both looking forward to uh, playing this evening. I think I can get shot twice as fast at 120 frames can. per second. <laughs> I think you probably can. Yeah. I think last time we were rolling strikes, right? Yeah, we were. Yeah. That was fun. We had a good time. I still have that banner that I got for doing that. People ask me all the time, hey, how'd you get that banner? It's a secret. Oh, people. Uh... Oh, there's people in. All right. So launch day at Bungie. What's going on back at the studio right now? Uh, well, you know, the studio, it's so such an interesting time at the studio because the studio is largely empty. Yeah. Uh, and we have our online teams. They're uh, standing by as we look for the traffic that's coming in. Because um, you've launched on all platforms today. Launched on all platforms today. So the it's a, I mean, it's super exciting time for the studio. Once again, you know, we've been managing seasons for the last uh, seven or eight months, but this is, uh, you know, our biggest content drop in a very, very long time. And so for the team to be able to have this experience is pretty incredible. I'm not used to looking at this gamer tag for you. You you recently changed your gamer tag, I understand. Okay. Yeah, you know. You helped me out on that, so let's. So everyone, my my gamer tag uh, for 20 years has been Mango. Mango. And uh, a good friend of mine, April McKee, 20 years ago, uh, asked me what I wanted for a gamer tag, and I said P squared, P2. And uh, as a backup, it was Mango. Yeah. And I was told that I need to go with Mango because they couldn't do a two-character gamer tag. Turns out... <laughs> there's a way to make that work. <laughs> turns out there's a way to make it work. Phil Spencer did with P3. <laughs> and uh, I think they weren't telling you the truth because I've been P3 since the original... Oh, and look at this. Graviton I think Lance. They weren't. Graviton Lance works well in P2. Anyway... Bill. <laughs> so oh, what? they changed my. So I now have the new stasis. Yep. Now so you talk have to stasis. me about this. Yeah. So uh, stasis essentially is uh, wielding the darkness. It largely has to do with uh, elements of freezing or binding your enemies. So that's. Oh, or blocking them off in walls, like or I just did with dying. my grenade. Or dying like you would do. No, 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 I'm not dead, don't. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Do not. <laughs> my excuse is they have me sitting like 20 feet from my screen. That's... 
but it I'm is not a, dead it yet. It is a long way away from the stream. Anyway, Phil, uh, so you and between uh, you and April, after 20 April. years, uh, reconstituted my original request for P squared. And so now... Is that what we're going with? We're not calling it P2. We're it's calling not P2. It P2. You're P3. <laughs> And I'm not going to take that away from you. Um, <laughs> so we're going with because p oh. squared or p2 is a is obviously a better number. <laughs> yeah, it's less than. So <laughs> that's the one way of putting it. <laughs> oh. And, oh. and I really I really appreciate it actually. Uh oh. Oh, what oh. happened here? <laughs> oh my gosh. My Did you die? Oh no. I heard I, you're going to nerf it. Then I oh. died. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. All right. This is called two middle-aged guys playing video games. No, now it's not. Now it's called. Oh, it's a pound. Okay. <laughs> oh, it freezes on and kills him. Okay. Yeah. Do you pop a super yet? Yeah, yeah it's right now. I can't see any bunch of stuff. Do oh, I God. still have my the headbutt is still in? Nice. Oh wait a minute. Let me let me go get that. I died. I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you. I blame you though. Wait, wait, let me first let me mow. It makes me sad. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> okay. Now so you can mope on me. That was my bad. Wow. I'm not gonna let you. Oh, no, no, this is no. This is first encounter. Okay, let's let's actually I got a gold bars here. Oh man. All right. I'm not selling this. this That's is okay. Bad. It's my first time playing it, so. Now we're on. What is the. Okay. Oh, wow, they keep right back. Well, we're also. Are we under level? Yeah, you, 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 there's, there's just a bunch of uh, scary exclamation marks around all of the combats. We're just gonna slow down, take our time. We have, we have like 15 minutes. That's what we're gonna do. Turtle. We're gonna, Game get you, we're you gonna, we're gonna hide for 15 minutes. They seem to be powering up our stages a lot. So, we're gonna do this. If I freeze where them, can you already shoot them? I'm the one wrecking havoc on all these. Hey, in all seriousness, uh, the launch of this is the, the launch of the new console is really exciting for us. Um, Thanks. Um, not just not just in terms of new consoles are awesome, uh, but. I think I said it before, and I'll say it again, the, the push that um, Xbox is making towards social. Um, one of the things we've talked about with Destiny going all the way back to 2009, Phil, was we wanted you know, Destiny to be wherever you are, and yeah. whatever your mood. And so, uh, and to become that like that social experience that, that people want, that third place where, where ultimately, you know, you have these great, um, you know, casual encounters, but you also have these, you know, intense um, encounters as well. And I think yeah. we, we've been able to do that, but I think uh, Xbox has been able to pull that off with continuing to build on social, but also uh, continue to build on Game Pass. So we have, you know, people, more people are able to uh, engage uh, with the Destiny universe and become a part of it and part of the community. And on top of that, uh, just the ability to play on multiple devices is also incredibly important. I remember, how long was it ago you showed me you were Destiny playing on your phone? phone? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it was like two years ago. Yeah, so Phil Phil uh, came by the studio like two years ago and was uh, playing on his phone. I couldn't believe it. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was fun. And uh, just, the, just the idea of um, our ability to, you know, oh, did you die? I'm sorry. I've like revived you three times okay. while you've been chatting, <laughs> so. No, we've talked a lot about yeah. you know, your guys' vision. I think Bungie.net was an inspiration for a lot of the things that we looked at, which was obviously created for your garbage right now, um, on Xbox Live and just watching how you guys have evolved that service. Uh, and it's great to get to partner on where you want to take this and, and you know, maybe even talking about other things that Bungie could be working on. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've been, I'm super proud of the team and we continue with the um, building and growing the Destiny universe and we have a, many, many years ahead of us to continue to build and grow Destiny, but we're also working on other things as well. And 
And uh, yeah, one of the fun things about working with you and the rest of the team is, you know, I think we've we've tried to make a universe that will um, that welcomes you, like no matter where you are. Yeah. Um, you know, you know yeah, no matter where you're from, how you identify, like like we have this inviting environment that you can come in and just have a great time. Awesome. And if you just want to like shoot some stuff and get an achievement from it, that's great. If you want to go and do much more intense um, um, activities like pinnacle activities like raids, you know, or nightfall, you can completely, you can totally do that. And so we offer this great range of fun things to do um, that are more fun to do with or in front of your friends. And that's always a great Okay. Season rank. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I can't see anything you're listening. I can't see what you're saying. All right. Oh, they're moving us. They're moving they us. We went too slow. Where are we going? They're yeah. fast forwarding us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's been fun to be part of that partnership. I mean, I think we share a lot of the same common DNA. Certainly we've had a, an incredibly long relationship with each other. But yeah, the 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 at, at its core, Destiny has to be a great game. Yeah. It has to do you know a lot of fun things. It has to be this hopeful, inviting world, but um, engaging you socially and allowing you to be a part of this larger community um, with your friends uh, ultimately is the most important thing that I think we can do. Um, and it's pretty humbling when you see just the level of engagement that we have with our community and how important our community is uh, to us. I'm 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 laughing right now because I'm sure I'm getting lots of messages from our community because yeah, of yeah. people I play with and I know I know you do too. Yeah, yep. And that's just a super exciting when like your favorite game is also like your favorite community of people. And it's awesome. pretty pretty rare um, yeah. to to have that. One of the things uh oh, there we go. I think when we were talking about Xbox, maybe people don't know your history with us. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I was at Microsoft a long time ago. Phil and I used to work uh, together in games. Uh, and uh, a few of us worked on actually uh, the original Xbox. Yep. And then uh, we also uh, acquired uh, Bungie. Yep. And that happened in May of 2000, if you can believe it. I can't believe it. It's been more, we're getting old, man. We are, yeah. I think getting doesn't need to be in there. Really. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, so I was a, a, I was an early employee on the Xbox, uh, and as were, as were you. And we worked on the acquisition of Bungie, and then I, I was ultimately fortunate enough to flip over and work on the Bungie side. I've been there uh, pretty much ever since. In, 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 yeah, how many in, years in, in has it been now with you at Bungie? Well, if you, the entire span has been about 18 and a half years. Wow. Uh, and so, um, and I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Like I'm super inspired. I'm super inspired by the, the team. Like, uh, um, yeah, even, even during the pandemic, Phil, like every week we do this, this team meeting and I get an opportunity to tell people how much I miss them. <laughs> You know how much I want to see their yeah. faces, yeah. Uh, and talk about what we're what we're doing, uh, and you know we've just been able to assemble this collection of some of the most talented, passionate, inspirational people you've ever met, and uh, it keeps growing. I mean, I think I was employee forty four wow. when we started, and there's and more than that now. There there is more than that now. It's several hundred people, uh, not only working on Destiny but working on new new projects. Yeah, and you know we we. Um, uh, you know, we're an independent developer. Yep. And so we've also built out our own, uh, you know, publishing infrastructure right. and uh, uh, ability to communicate with our, our fan base. And so that's been an exciting journey. And, yeah, it's uh, been awesome to see. And, you guys have done an amazing uh, job. Thank you. Yeah, really. I mean, it, I'm, well, I have to say, say the same thing about, about you all. But, all right, we're playing. I am still listening to this. You, oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting, uh, she will show herself. I'm going to pretend like everything's going fine. I'm just playing. <laughs> Is it not working for you? No, it's, it's just about to work. Okay. Just going to work about to oh, work look great. at that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, 
so this is, uh, we're gonna, I think we're gonna come up against uh, Aramis as we've had the new pyramid ships have come into the system. A new force has arrived uh, that wields the darkness uh, on Europa. Uh, and, um, and that is what we're gonna, what we're going to tackle. Nope. Anyway, so going back to our, our long history, I mean, obviously we have a long history with Microsoft and with the Xbox. Um, I always, I always think about not only the launch of uh, Halo CE as it's known yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, but certainly, uh, you know, I think we changed the world together with, uh, with Xbox Live mm -hmm. and, and Halo 2. Uh, and I think, you know, we continue to do uh, that kind of work together. Hopefully Game Pass and then Beyond Light uh, and the launch of the new consoles will be a uh, continuation of our, of our great history. And the fact that, I mean, it, obviously it's not just Xbox that's launching right now. PlayStation has a big launch. You guys have a big presence there. You've grown your presence on PC. I mean, just the complexity that you guys manage now with all the different platforms, uh, just, just great to see how you've connected those communities, allow me to move between PC and Xbox, which I do quite a bit playing back and forth. I just really love how you've embraced letting Thank people you. play where they want to play. Yeah, and, and we have cross-generational uh, yeah. play, which we're, we're doing as well, and, and we'll continue to push on making sure that, um, you know, if you want to play our game, you can, and you can play with your friends no matter where you are uh, and no matter what device you're on. So that that's the goal, Yeah, uh, and we'll continue to push towards that because we think the, the Destiny universe is pretty special. And uh, I'm excited because we have this really great roadmap ahead of us for the Destiny universe. Beyond Light kicks off a new trilogy inside of that universe. And then after that, you'll see you know, new, uh, you know, new games coming from Bungie as well. And uh, it's been fortunate that we've been able to build up uh, the kind of talent that's able to continue to build and grow the Destiny universe as well as think about new things. Cool. Well, I think that's about it. You've seen some more talented players than I uh, playing through. And I. <laughs> really excited <laughs> to get to play Beyond Light. Like I said, I'll probably be on tonight playing. Appreciate the great partnership with Bungie. It's always Thank fun. You. It's good to see you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, to everybody who's waiting to play this game, jump in. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be exciting times. I'll see you everybody tonight. I'll be online on Xbox. See ya. All right. Take care.